showdown. Marlon Manalo versus Gabe Owen. Marvelous Marvin Manalo, 9-1 and one thus far. He leads here 5-4 to four against Gabe Owen, who has the break. Now, Gabe won his first match of today as well, right in the side. Right in the side pocket. That's something you do not want to do. Now, Gabe, uh, he scratched right in the side pocket, didn't hit the one solid. We've talked about that, and he's given uh, uh, Marvelous Marvin a cue ball in hand situation. So he's taking stripes. He's going to try and bump the stripe ball, the 13, and he does it perfectly. What a nice little touch now, this guy. Now, Marlon Mike. is also, um, his first game was snooker, not pool. He just switched to pool a few years ago. Yes, and he has really adapted well. I mean, his I think his break is just overwhelming. He's probably got, the I, in my opinion, the best break out there today. Now for a snooker Third player, because snooker players don't usually have good breaks. Yes, but he actually hits them very, very hard. I mean, a lot of players in the tournament break him hard, but he's exceptional. And his knowledge of the game is surprising me because he does everything pretty much the right way. He doesn't bump balls. We had discussed that earlier, unless he wants to. And, you know, he, he pretty much runs the table, in my opinion, the, the correct way to do it. Dimbod. Nine ball. Now he has a little problem. He's going to play the nine, probably come out towards the center of the table. And you notice that ball that's hanging there. He has not elected to shoot that because he's blocking the red ball. So if he did make a mistake, he's, you know, Gabe Owen would still have a big problem. Now he's going to either break this out, he's going to have to draw the cue ball back a little bit and kind of open these two other balls up. He's made a nice shot there. See, he has what we call protection. You see, he breaks the balls out, but he drew the cue ball back just enough to make sure he's got a shot on the stripe ball hanging in the pocket and gamble on the other stripe ball that's going towards the side pocket. So obviously that plan worked out fine because now he plays the hanging stripe ball. So that was a what we call an educated guess with Never leaving there. yourself an out. But he still has a tricky position shot. That's why he's not shooting this so fast. He's got to try and come up table. And he's really gone up table. He's played for the side pocket, and he's almost going to freeze if not. That's not exactly what he wanted to do. See, he's looking up in the air. Us. Bad boy. He's got a pretty tricky shot here. He's got a slow cut the ball. He's actually hit it perfect, I believe. Oh, look at this wow. guy's touch. I mean, how do you like it? You know what I mean? He hits everything Eight just bucks. right. Partner. There's Billy Aaron Condona in the back and Larry Schwartz also on the IPT. Marvelous Marlon Manalo takes the game and leads 6-4 to four in the race to 8. When we return, more of the Manalo-Owen match and IPT star Corey Cash Money Duel plays a little late ball with American Pie's Shannon Elizabeth. Mike, you going to stick around for that? Oh, yeah, I'm not going anywhere. The International Pool Tour, real pool, real rules, real money. We're back at the International Pool Tour, brought to you by NaturalCures.com. Marlon Manalo leads 6-4 to four in his match against Gabe Owen and gets ready to break, while Corey Duell has the enviable task of going one-on-one -on -one in eight ball with Shannon Elizabeth, best known from her roles in the American Pie movies. Let's go to the action. All right, Shannon, well, you said you're a pool player. I hooked you up with, a, you know, the hot little young gun here, Corey Duell. So how do you think you did? Oh, he's amazing. I wasn't so good, but he's amazing. Corey, uh, was she tough? She's got a nice stroke. She'll be a good player. <laughs> Maybe she should uh, join the tour. Diplomatic. What do you think? She's fun to watch. Corey Duell, perhaps a little distracted here in round three. Lots of celebrities at the event. They love to play pool, and this is the show. 
the big leagues, the biggest prize money in the history of the sport, the greatest players from over 30 countries. One of those countries, the Philippines, is well represented by, amongst other very accomplished players, Marlon Manalo, who leads Gabe Owen here in round three, six to four. You like that break, don't you? Oh, that's unbelievable, that break. A Look benchmark at of some of the Filipino players. They all break big. This guy, I mean, look, there's nothing in the rack area. Look where the rack used to be. There's not a ball there. See, the break is so big because it keeps you in stroke. If you keep getting opportunities, regardless of how you feel inside. Look, and the IPT uses the Sardo tight rack as the official rack of the IPT, and it's the only rack in the world that makes a perfect rack every time. Yes. And you get a great result, too. If the balls are not frozen well in eight ball, they just don't open like this. I don't care how hard you And the you game's know. not fun that way because then you break and yes. they're all clumped together. And yes, and that's really not the way the game is played on a four and a half by nine. Now, see, he's playing solids, but really he does not like the solids. That's the only shot he really has. He doesn't have an easy shot on a stripe. Now that's called jacking up the cue. It makes it really hard, doesn't it? Yes, and he's got to kind of what we call kill the cue ball, which he's done. Now... Oh, see, he came up for the orange ball, but came up short. You see the two balls on the right side of the screen? He plays this shot. He's coming down table. He hits it with what we call reverse English. He's hoping the cue ball hits the end rail and comes up more for the orange ball, but it does not. And you see it hits. And, and, that, and the slow cloth that we use, the nap cloth, the traditional Gorina IPT tournament cloth, is slower. And yes. It's going to make the ball, you have to hit it harder. Well, now he's in a very tough situation. You see, if he had got on the orange ball, the reason he's trying to play for that ball, you see the two balls at the bottom of the screen, the two and the four. They're stuck together, and they do not go. He had to get on the orange ball safety. to break. Now, he's playing a safety. I think he's going to try and go behind the orange ball, if I'm not mistaken. He'll hit the – oh, no, he's going to hit the two and stick the cue ball. See the orange ball? Watch where the cue ball winds up. This is what I think he's doing. And he's hit it pretty well but not as well as he could have he's trying to get behind the orange ball he wanted to break those balls up yes break them out and give his opponent no shot nine ball Boy, he made a great shot there. Wow. What a shot. He actually played that rail first. Let's watch this again. The cue ball catches the rail first and then makes the nine. That's what holds the cue ball. He still has problems. Okay? Boy, that, that green of cloth almost slowed down that ball too yes. much for him. Yes. Nice Boy, he, shot He made there. a great shot there, and he's trying to break this out. He hits it, but now I think he has a problem. He makes a great shot here, and you can see where the cue ball is going. He's trying to break out those two balls, which he had to do. He hits the stripe, but now actually has – the only shot he has, I believe, is a bank shot, which is not I – I think he's banking this ball. It's the only thing he can do. Very difficult. Now, see, he hit the six. I mean, that, that was – see, he threw his hands up in the air. Marvelous Manalo. You watch this bank shot. The ball did not come off the way he thought. He hits the green ball, which, you know, didn't give it any chance at all. But, again, Manalo made an educated, smart shot. Side ball. Three ball. Yeah, he made Four actually ball. a pretty good shot. When you go back to that safety play earlier in this game, is actually what won him. Well, hopefully he runs out here. I mean, I don't see any big problems yet if he pockets the balls, but that was an educated shot that uh, came out very well for him. Six ball. Seven ball, corner. Now he likes it. Now he's going to play the seven and just slide the cue ball to the rail. He's got the two and eight two right ball. there, so he obviously likes it now. 
Does he have enough room there to drop the two yes. down? Yes, I'm pretty sure he does, or he probably wouldn't have put the cue ball there. Good point. <laughs> Plenty of room for yeah. him. For him, yes. For you, Matt, I don't know, but he, <laughs> he's got a golf course there. So. For he's the puts game. Puts him up on the hill. Marlon Manalo, as focused as he can be, moves ahead 7-4 to four in the race to 8. Can Gabe Owen hang on? More round 3 8 ball coming up at the International Pool Tour, where pool is now a sport. Whenever you're playing a great player, Marlon Manolo is one of the superstars on tour. Uh, it's obviously tough to beat him. The way to beat Marlon Manolo, you're going to have to outbreak him. You're going to have to bring your A game. I feel like I'll beat him. I mean, he gives me chances. I just I haven't played my game yet against him. Gabe the Babe Owen of Wichita, Kansas, one of the bright young talents here on the International Pool Tour. He, however, trails 7-4 to four in round three to Marlon Manalo of the Philippines. And Gabe definitely not in Kansas anymore, not when you're playing Manalo. Mike, what makes Marlon Manalo such a tough opponent? Well, I've said before, I think his break is devastating. But, you know, he runs the balls, as far as I'm concerned, as well as anybody. So, you know, he, he's a big threat. Boy, I like that break. <laughs> And look at the, see the last, I mean, you see how the ball went in, the last ball? On a slow cloth, that's amazing that he gets so much travel on the balls. And again, the rack area is totally empty. You know, it's just an amazing break, boy. And a good break is you pocket at least one ball, and then all the balls are relatively open, so you could yes. run the table. Well, you you know, you no one can that's predict the, how But the, that's the ideal scene. Right? Yes, uh, exactly, yes. I mean, you know, he's elected to take solid. Oh! Wow, that is very uncharacteristic of Manel. He, I, I believe he took his eye off layup, the ball. It was a layup, wasn't it? Uh, pretty much. He probably took his eye off the cue ball watching where it's going because he had a very easy run out. Now, Gabe says he's an eight-ball player as opposed to a nine-ball player or a straight pool player or a snooker player or a one-pocket player. He says he loves the game of eight-ball. And he's actually said he's been practicing four to six hours a day. You see, a pool is a sport now. I mean, you, yeah. in the old days, people would have a cigarette and be drinking beers in between games. Yeah, we <laughs> would play, you know, one match a day. I usually played at like 7 o'clock at night, one match a day. I'm playing five, four, and six matches a day. That is a lot of pool 10, for 10, 12 hours. I know. That's, on your feet. He makes a nice shot here. He's trying to come up table for the ball that's, I believe it's the five ball. Now, I'm not sure if he has a shot there or not. He might have been actually trying to break that out. I don't know. He's yeah, actually, those those two balls there seem a little bit clumped together. Yeah, no, actually, if it goes, that was a good shot. If it does not go, yeah, that ball goes. So he's got to kind of float it in and then play for the two ball. He's got to kind of roll it in. This is not an easy shot. He's got a lot of cut, and he's got to hit it very easy. He may try and go back and forth. I'm, I'm really not sure what he's looking at. Now, the referee's right there because uh, if you touch any ball on the table with your shirt or any part of your body or anything, it's a foul. Yes. He's made a nice shot there. Oh, and, and that's as tight as we've seen an official so far in the tournament. He makes a good shot here. Now, you see where he caught the rail? But he hit it with the right speed where that shot goes in. If he'd have hit that harder, he would have played it cleaner in the pocket. Now, now, why is he leaning for? Well, he because trying? he wanted to get more straight on the two ball. See, the problem is the eight, where it is. You see the stripe ball next to the two on the right? Four ball, corner pocket. If he goes to the rail, he may clip that ball. Actually, I, there's a solid ball up table I didn't even see. See, that's, that's how smart we are. No wonder why I got eliminated. <laughs> <laughs> he's going to draw this back now. That's what he was doing. See, he's perfect. Oh, he's that was perfect. a nice shot. No, that was a very nice shot. That's five ball. <clears throat> five ball corner. He actually made a great shot there. That's why he was squeezing for the cue ball to get over. He wanted just enough angle to get position for that ball. You know, we started with the top 200 players in the world here in Las Vegas, but over 1,500 players played to play in this tournament for the largest prize money in history here at the absolutely gorgeous Venetian Hotel. Corner. 
he made a good run out. Manalo made a really, you know, well, that, this, that could cost. This him is going to be incre- because now he comes back and he's got the break and he can yes. he can run the next couple of games. Oh, very easily. This is for the game to stay alive. And indeed, Gabe Owen holds off Marlon Manalo here. He now trails seven to five. And when we return, we'll be on the break. All right, let's get you back to the table. Big matchup here in the round three round robin. Gabe Owen has the break and trails 7 5 against the unflappable Marlon Manalo. It's a huge break for Gabe. Now, let's see this break. Wow, there's another great break. But he doesn't make a ball, I don't think. Uh, unfortunately, does not. It's hard to believe because again, there's nothing in the rack area. But the you cue know. ball got away from him. It's way down there, stuck. Well, yeah, it got kicked back there, and this is a very tough layout because there's two stripes that are stuck together. Well, if Marlin wins this game, he wins the match. I'm not sure what he called. Oh, he's what did he call there? He's playing the combination, the strike ball. Wow. That's not going. Ooh, oh, no. boy, he's that uh, a, Marv. Uh, well, that was a tough Mar- shot, wasn't it? Yeah, well, he Mar- shot I mean, it very quickly. I mean, he looks like he's getting a, feeling a little of the pressure, which is something unusual for him. But he shot that quickly. I mean, I guess it, it had a lay well because he wouldn't have shot it. Well, it's early in the day, but this is. What are you going to do with that one? <laughs> Gabe says, what are you going to do with that one? Those two balls stuck together there? This is one of those trick runouts because here's the problem. The, if you see the two and ten, there the stripe is is hanging, so the two does not go. So it almost makes you take it's still stripes. An, it's still an open table. It's an open table. He can choose stripes or solid. But he has two stripe balls stuck up table that he must break out to run the rack. So you know that might not have been such a dumb mistake that uh, that Manalo did there, missing that shot. He may have done that on purpose. It's very possible. We call this digging a grave. He must break those two balls out there at the uh, right-hand side of your screen. If he does not do that, he's not going to run the table. See, I would try and go for the 10 ball very quickly, get a shot on the 10 ball to break out those two balls while this ball in the left corner is hanging. So it's just one of those racks where the person who shoots first and makes the ball actually has the disadvantage? Uh, yes. Well, Manalo has already done that, so he's given the rack to Gabe Owen, and, and realistically, he probably did that on purpose. I'm not sure. He's got to get on this 10 ball. See, now he's looking to get... You see where he put his Q-tip? That's where he wants to put the... He's going to play the stripe ball. 11 ball. The 11 ball. He's going to try and get out in the center of the table, cut the 10 in, and then break those two balls out. So that's what he has to do. And no, we didn't get no, there. No, wait a minute. No, he's perfect. I think he's almost perfect. He may be a little straighter than he would like. So he's trying to hit this ball in the corner pocket yes. and then move the cue ball off to the right to break up yes, those two balls. Yes, and he's actually perfect. He can hit, the, and he's got the stripe ball hanging down so table. So watch the cue ball here. Oh, he got it. He's perfect, he except. No, he, he put actually, it behind it. Yeah, but he broke those wrong. See, now there's something. I don't know if he can make this or not. He should have never hit the edge of the nine. You see what he does here? Hits the edge? Yeah. He should have gone into the nine more full, which means he should have hit more of the nine towards us, Good and that Lord. wouldn't have happened. I mean, you're talking about a well, game of half centimeters yes. here. Yes. You're controlling know, the cue ball. As yes. I'll let you know. I'll let you know. There. Just taking a gander's. I mean, it's got to get just like that for my money. See, that shot might have cost him the match. That's the... I don't know if he can make 14. this. He might be banking it. Good hit. No, he missed it. Mm. Slow cloth, well, tight pockets, tough yeah. tables. This ain't your local pool room hold pool the tables. I had too much angle on the nine to bank it. You know?
Yeah, I think, uh, well, Manalo, again, does not have an easy run out. He has to deal with the five ball and the two ball. There's two. He's got to play the five, in my opinion, right now. Has to play the five ball. And he is not doing that. <laughs> oh, he's going to play a, what's he doing there? Well, it's a lot of cloth. He's going to play a safety of some kind. Ah, very nice shot. Now, explain to everybody Explain to everybody why he did that. Yeah. Because he's giving the table back to Gabe. Yeah, yeah, but here's what happens. You see where the cue ball is? He made the stripe ball down table, but Gabe cannot make the stripe ball that's hanging in the pocket. All those three balls. I mean, he can actually cut the nine. I mean, I, I really wasn't crazy about that. I would have played the, the five ball, tried to make it, and he probably could have run the table. I mean, I can get tied up behind all them balls down there. Yeah, I mean, at least the pocket ain't blocked. He's got to play the 9 instead of 14, but anything can happen on this shot. Well, he made it. What happens yeah, now? Does he have another shot? No. no. No, he does not. No, he does not. Well, that was a little unlucky. He made a good shot there, and there's no telling. He could have got a shot, or he doesn't have to get a shot, and obviously he didn't get one. Now, it's his worst nightmare. <laughs> well, keep in mind, both players are one and one. They have right. five matches to play today. They'll be going to be playing corner. for another <laughs> seven or eight hours. Right. He's going to try and play a safety. Hit, oh, oh, he hit the five. He tried to just go by the five to hit the nine and put it near the pocket. But now it's pretty academic. I mean, normally in this situation, cue ball in hand, you have almost all your solids on the table. You're you're a very happy camper. Is this, at this what point. they call a throw-in? Um, well, he's supposed to run the table, but you don't know what's going to happen. Well, he's smiling. Well, he's supposed to run out from here. I mean, he's got all the solids on the table. He can literally put the cue ball almost anywhere on the table and still have a decent shot. That that's the key. So he makes the one. He gets on the seven. Gets the cue ball near the center of the table. Uh, he should have no problems. But you never know. He's perfect on the seven. Seven. So he'll try and draw the cue ball toward. Now he's got a little problem because he's, you know, he's not very tall. See where he's got to go. How are you stretching for this? It's what they call in some pool circles uh, humping the table. Am I right about that, Mike? Yes. <laughs> and he's actually he got a little careless here. He's way over, a lot closer to the rail than he would like. He, this is not automatic, especially on these tight pockets. This could be missed. Boy, he fired that one. Yeah, yeah, well, he had to to go across the table to play the six ball, you see. Now he's still got to roll the six in. You know, your yeah, nerves come into play here. You can see him smiling. He, bits. <laughs> he goes, I wish I could put the cue ball there. And he's got to kind of just roll this in. I mean, he may go back and forth here. He's got a lot more angle than he would like. And that's exactly what he's doing. You see what he's doing there? In other words, if he had got in the center of the table, he wouldn't have had to do all this creative stuff. But, but he's now, still doing it. Yes, that's that's what he's doing. He's pocketing the tricky shots. Gabe oh. Owen has the look of a man that might not get to his feet again in this match. Yeah, now it's pretty academic. He just gets a little angle on this ball and goes Hard to button. the eight. Oh, he's right. doing a Johnny Archer a there. Right? Johnny Archer there. He's probably going to foul the ball and just come out in the center of the table. There's a lot of things he could do. I believe he's just going to follow this. He's really looking at something here. It didn't look that easy of a shot. Yeah, it was pretty easy. I think he's doing that for the cameras. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, whether it was easy or not, Marlon Manalo prevails over Gabe Owen. He improves his tournament record to 10 and 1 and is looking more and more like one of the players to beat here at the IPT. Now, I'm sure that Marlon Manalo, who of course beat Mike Siegel in this tournament, doesn't need the following pull tip, but you might. Here's our Mike the Mouth and an IPT Q tip.